Welcome to Good Living by Design. I'm Lenore Gonzalez. Today is all about family fun and good health. Join us as we explore new trends in design and home decor. Then we'll show you how you can update your backsplash in your kitchen. Then we'll drop by and see what's cooking at East Coast Joe's food truck. We have tips for you on summer hair care as well as advice on insurance needs. Then we'll show you how to keep your pets happy and healthy during the summertime. We'll end the show with our fitness advisor showing us simple ways to keep our families on track with healthy eating. All this today on Good Living by Design. Interior design trends come and go with each season and each new generation. Some trends stay and last the test of time and become their own style, and some don't fare so well. Let's take a look as we introduce some new trends for your home decor for 2015. For us design professionals, we get excited when the new year comes because that means new trends. Each year, our designers here at Decor New go to market where we get to see the latest and the greatest. But trends are just that. They come and go, so we tell our clients that they don't have to embrace the whole trend. They don't have to do all the trendy items in their home. They can do it one accessory at a time. It's a very small investment, and it can allow you to have the new trend for the season, but be able to change it out for the next year. So we're here to show you a few trends that we see up and coming for 2015. Let's start with this piece here, this chair and this ottoman, which I love, made out of gray wool. It is a mid-century piece, and those look great and can fit into any style of decor in your home, and I believe this trend will probably carry through to the next year as well. Another trend that we're seeing are animal prints. I don't think it went away. So you'll see a lot of animal prints and hides coming into your home. So it doesn't have to be real. Here we have a faux sheep hide that you could use. You could throw it over the chair, or if you have a bigger one, you could use it as an area rug. Um, we also have animal motifs that you'll see um, coming through in accessories. So we have an example here, which is a unique horn magnifying glass. It's a great conversational piece that you can have in your house. Next thing are lanterns. Lanterns are back, and they've, they've never really gone away. But what we have now are more elegant looks to lanterns like we have here with the candles, or you can add different color candles to your space. They can be casual as well, and you can take them indoors or outdoors, and they look great in any space. This year, you'll see a lot of gold. So remember the year where you threw away all those gold and brass accessories that you have? Well, it's coming back. So here we'll show you the rose golds and coppers are very popular this year. Here we have a collection of accessories and we'd like to show you that you don't really have to be matchy-matchy. You can combine metals because I think by combining metals, you make a more interesting space. Another very popular trend is going to be fringe, what we have here uh, in this area rug. So you're going to see it not only in the interior design, but as fashion as well. And um, you'll see it introduced in fabrics, area rugs, as well as lamps. So blue is one of the most popular colors that we'll see in 2015. Blue is very easy to work with. It goes well with all the other colors. So you'll see the pops of blue in pillows, on your accessories, and even on artwork. Another popular trend for 2015 is the succulents. This is a plant that they also call the fat plant because it retains water and it's drought resistant. So even if you don't have a green thumb, it's a great way to introduce some greenery into your home and be able to maintain it throughout the year. One of our favorites at Decor and You is wallpaper. We love to use wallpaper and I know a lot of people shy away from it because back in the day it used to take you days to get it off the wall. But in theory now, you should be able to take it off in one strip. So they come in beautiful textures, patterns, colors. It is a great addition to any home. So these are some trends that we see in 2015. If you need more home decorating ideas, visit us at decorandyouhr.com. Coming up, we'll visit East Coast Joe's food truck and see what's cooking. Find videos, information, and expert interior design advice at goodlivingbydesign.com. Decor New is a full-service interior design company. We're located in Highlands Ranch, and we've been here in Colorado for 10 years. Usually the kind of clients that contact us are pretty busy. They don't have a lot of time to do this on their own, um, and they just want to have someone come into their home and make it feel the way they envision it. We pride ourselves on working with all kinds of budgets and being able to make someone comfortable when we come in their home, and 
It's a great experience. It should be fun. It shouldn't be stressful or overwhelming. With the core and use design expertise, knowledge, and attention to detail, people can save money because they avoid costly mistakes and they also avoid wasting time. Our process usually starts with a 20-minute phone call and that's our discovery phase where we learn more about your project, what you want to do in the space, and what your expectations are. We'll then make an in-home consultation where we actually then go and see your space and sit down um, for about an hour and uh, measure the space, take photographs of the space. Then we go back to our office and in two weeks we come back with a design presentation. This is when we show you three design options. All our design options are interchangeable. You can mix and match and they were created based on conversations we had with you. Once you've selected the design option that you'd like to do in your home, we go back to our office and start the ordering process. We're there to manage your project from start to finish. We do everything in your home, from a simple paint consultation, to accessorizing a room, to decorating one room or your whole home. We do it all. Call Decor on You now and get $250 off your interior design project. 303-346-2593. Interact with Good Living by Design on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Find the links at goodlivingbydesign.com. Hi, I'm Elena Anderson with the Decor New branch of Three Week Kitchens in Highlands Ranch. And today I have a great tip for you on how to update your kitchen for a very reasonable cost. A great thing to do, particularly for those of you who have just painted walls as a backsplash, is to tile them. I personally am a fan of mosaic tiles, especially if you're gonna do this project yourself. It has greatly reduced the amount of time and effort required in a tiling job. It's reduced the amount of tile cutting required and it allows you to put an entire square foot of tile on the wall without individually placing and spacing every tile. I realize it seems like a little bit of an intimidating project, but having done this myself, I think you can do it too. And with the wide variety of options available in materials, colors, styles, and shapes, there's something out there for everyone. If you think you need professional design help with your kitchen or bathroom modeling project, we are here to help. Please contact the Decor and You branch of Three Week Kitchens in Highlands Ranch, Colorado. You can reach us at 303-346-2593 or check out the website at threeweekkitchens.com. We would be thrilled to help you design the kitchen or bath of your dreams. I've been a fan of East Coast Joe's food truck ever since I've tasted their lobster roll. It is my favorite. Although the lobster roll is what they're known for, they have other delicious items on their menu. Let's check out and see what's cooking at East Coast Joe's food truck. Hi, I'm Joe from East Coast Joe's food truck and today we're going to make a traditional New England lobster roll. This is a traditional uh, New England split top frankfurter roll. We uh, fly these in along with our fresh Maine lobster meat from South Maine. These are attempted in many different ways. We keep it pretty straightforward. Nicely toasted roll is key. We did a wedding last week. Uh, did 150 lobster rolls in a little less than an hour out the window. <laughs> it's a blur. That's what you're looking for, a nice crust on the outside, nice toast. When we do some larger corporate events, we'll bring, we have one helper that comes in just to kind of get stuff out the window as fast as possible. I think our highest number was 290 that we did last year. Yeah. In about two hours, two and a half hours. And then we stuffed that with four ounces of lobster meat. A little celery salt on top. Great. Just got an order for a truffle bacon egg salad, which is uh, a staple on the truck summertime. Start off with a nice toasted brioche roll. bacon on there. A 
Yeah, egg salad's made obviously with hard boiled eggs. A little bit of truffle oil, celery salt, uh, some sliced up green onions, uh, and salt and pepper. We try and give you a good value for your money. I don't want you leaving hungry. Try and keep our food costs pretty consistent. A little fresh arugula. All right, we're gonna do a uh, shaved prime rib sandwich. Uh, we take a whole uh, prime rib in the commissary and roast it off, uh, crusted with salt, uh, a little Dijon mustard pepper and horseradish and then uh, we cook it to a rare to medium rare and shave it down. Uh, we start off with a brioche. We use a lot of butter in this truck. Less is better. We see a lot of overworked food in the industry now. Uh, a lot of pretentious out there. We try and keep things simple. Uh, you know, the key to our lobster roll is fresh lobster and less is more, I think. People appreciate it. All right, we got our toasted roll. We got a aioli that we made with uh, a little bit of blue cheese and horseradish, a little steak sauce and salt and pepper. rib here nice and thin it's about a five to six ounce portion on there fresh arugula Check us out on Facebook or at www.eastcoastjoes.com. Find out where we are and see what we're bringing from the East Coast. Up next, we'll learn how to keep our pets happy and healthy in the summertime. Find videos, information, and expert interior design advice at goodlivingbydesign.com. I'm Kelsey and we're here at Apricot Lane Boutique at the streets at South Glen. So we are a women's boutique. We're great for women anywhere from 18 to 60. We've got a great assortment of clothes from skirts, tops, dresses, handbags, jewelry, accessory, great gift ideas. So come on down to streets at South Glen and come shop with us. We'd love to have you here. Her Life Denver magazine is designed to keep women inspired and connected. Each month, we dedicate Her Life to celebrating all that is exceptional in our community. You'll find inspirational women and interesting topics such as health, beauty, and home design. With beautiful full-color photography and great stories, we strive to keep today's women connected to the things they need and want. Get our free monthly newsletter or subscribe by going online at herlifemagazine.com forward slash Denver. Hi, my name is Marissa Garbin. I'm here today to talk to you about your summer hair care needs. In the summer, we always think about protecting our skin, but our hair needs protection as well. One of my favorite products is from Honey. It's from Nubian Heritage. This is the Honey and Black Seed Heat Protectant Keratin Spray. This adds a high shine gloss. It helps defrizz your hair. It's a heat styling protectant and also protects from UV damage. So I'm excited about this new product from John Masters Organics. This is their Sea Mist Sea Salt Spray with Lavender. You can use this product at your roots. 
When your hair is damp and style as usual for added volume. Another way you can use it is just to spray from roots to ends and just kind of scrunch it and let your hair air dry. It really brings out any natural texture or wave that you have in your hair. And another fun way to use it is to spray on dry hair, scrunch it in, and it just gives that look like you just got back from the beach. With the sun hitting your hair all day, it can get more damaged throughout the summer, so it's really great to use um, a deep conditioning treatment. And one of my favorite all-time products for hair is actually coconut oil. Um, I like to use an organic, unrefined coconut oil. Um, this actually makes your hair very smooth, soft, shiny. It prevents split ends and breakage, and it adds a lot of extra hydration. It promotes a healthy scalp, which also promotes hair growth. The way I use it is I put about two to three tablespoons in a coffee mug. I heat it up just until it's melted. You don't want it to be hot because it can burn the hair. Then over the sink, I just pour it from scalp to ends. Make sure the hair is really saturated. Comb through and place in a bun. You should leave it in for a minimum of two hours, but to get the most benefits, you should sleep in it overnight. Just make sure you wrap your hair in a towel or place a towel over your pillow because it can get a little messy. And then just shampoo out. You might need to shampoo twice to get it all out and style and you're good to go. I hope these have been helpful tips and products for you for your summer hair care needs. If you'd like any more tips and how to for hair styling and makeup, please visit my website at marissagmakeup.com. I'm Marissa Garbin. Thank you for watching. Hi, I'm Linda O'Brien with Decor and You. I'm one of the designers, and often our clients have pets, and we have to design around our pets. And one of the solutions I have found, and I personally use it a lot for myself, is I like to put throws on my bed as well as on my chair. It really is a good way to allow your furry little creatures, your friends, to be able to be in the places you are, but also be able to keep things clean. So the nice thing is, is this can come off, you can wash it, so if their fur gets on it, that's okay. Also, you can cover, it adds nice color to your space. You can take it off if company's coming and it has a little bit of hair, you can take it off, throw it in the wash, either put it back on or wait till your uh, friends leave and then put it back on for your furry little friends. Next, we're meeting with Yvette Gonzalez with As You Wish Pet Sitters, and she's gonna tell us how to keep our furry little creatures safe and healthy during the summer months as well as during the rest of the year. Hubby, huh? I'm Yvette Gonzalez and I have some tips for keeping your dog cool during the summer. Uh, use a cooling pad. They've got special cooling beds for you and it keeps their tummy and their belly cool and helps cool them off. Another good trick to use is to get a plastic container and fill it full of uh, water and chicken stock and add some treats to that. Freeze it in the freezer for several hours and take it out and it's a tasty treat for your dog to cool off. Uh, a lot of dogs love little baby swimming pools and like to get in and get out of those. So that's a great place for them to have some fun and cool off a bit. And if you're going to take your dog swimming, always make sure that they have a life vest on. Uh, dogs get tired, they uh, lose energy, and they can easily um, drown. So, and, and it's not inherent that dogs know how to swim. So always be cautious around the water always be aware of uh, what is planted in your yard. You know, a lot of plants are toxic to dogs, azaleas, lilies. Uh, don't leave plant food out. Uh, a lot of that is toxic to your animals. And be aware of uh, the landscaping edging. Uh, you know, we see a lot of, of cut paws at this time of the year. Um, be aware of, you know, what type of dog you have. A lot of the short-nosed breeds like pugs and boxers and bulldogs tend to overheat very, very quickly. So make sure that you're walking you know, in the cool of the, the morning or later in the evening. Um, you know, definitely don't overexert the dogs and don't overexert yourself. Always make sure that they've got fresh water. And one thing is never, ever, ever take your dog with you. Never leave them in the car. Uh, always keep them at home. So for more tips, you can always go to our website, asyouwishpetsitters.com. Coming up, we'll look at ways to keep our families on track with healthy eating. Find videos, information, and expert interior design advice at goodlivingbydesign.com. Hi, I'm Lenore. I'm Jen. 
And we're here from Decor and You in Highlands Ranch, a full-service interior decorating company. And we have something great to share with you today. It's Decor Room in a Box. If you love to shop, the Decor Room in a Box is perfect for you. It allows you to control your own makeover in your own time and still get the advice of a professional designer. It's a fun and easy process, and when you get to our website, you click on Virtual Interior Designer, and you'll fill out a style questionnaire where you ask questions about your style, taste, provide dimensions, photographs for us, and in four to six weeks, you get a beautiful box back filled with everything you need to execute that design plan. Inside the box, you'll see a custom design that's made especially for you. It comes with a customized design plan that shows you all the furniture items that we specify. It also has the space plan that's drawn to scale. And we'd also have all the items and we'll tell you where everything goes. My favorite part is when the box comes, you get all the goodies inside. We send you everything necessary for your custom look, which includes all of the fabric samples necessary to complete the design and exactly where they go and how much to use. We have our upholstery samples here as well as we always include a paint palette and the color selections for that. And here at Decor New, we like to include wallpaper in our designs and you get the sample as well for that. Also in the box, you'll find the furniture finishes as well as the stain for your furniture. If we specify hardware, you also get the finish of the hardware that you need to use. This is my favorite part. This is our flip book. And this is everything you need from photos of all the items that we specified in your design. And in the back, you'll see the measurements and the colors so that when you go shopping, you have everything that you need to put your room together. That's Decor Room in a Box. We made it easy and fun for you. Go to decorandyouhr.com and click on Virtual Interior Design and order your box today. Hi, I'm Michelle Calazzi with Allstate Insurance and I'm here to talk to you about insuring your teen drivers. As you know, young drivers can be very expensive, so it's really important that you do what you need to do to help get the best rate for your teen driver. I always suggest contacting your agent first. They can talk to you about the things that might help bring the rate down. Make sure that you contact your agent and list your driver as soon as they are licensed to make sure they are covered, as likely they will have an accident. Tell your teen that the best way they can help you is to make sure they keep their grades up. Many companies, Allstate included, will give a young driver discount and a good student discount. So those are two things that your driver would definitely want to take advantage of. The other thing I strongly recommend is to avoid distracted driving. You're in control of your teen. You make sure that they are listening to you as far as how many people they can have in the car and make sure they are not texting and driving or listening to their music too loudly. And lastly, I recommend an excess liability policy. You can discuss that with your agent to make sure you have adequate protection while your teen driver is in the car. For more tips on young drivers, contact myself at 720-344-0111 or mkalazy at allstate.com. My name is Laura Gooding and I am the window treatment specialist here at Decor and You. My window tri treatment tip of the day is have fun with fabrics. There are countless fabrics out there and you can really create a beautiful look in your room. Here are some examples of some fun fabrics we just got in. Some bold pattern and textured fabrics are here. Some textured solids can create a very classy look. And then here are some fun geometric patterns and that can give you a great look as well. And now to our fitness advisors, Heather and Carrie, who have some great suggestions for keeping our family on track with healthy eating. Let's check it out. Hello, Heather Sosias, Fit Foods for You. Today segment, we're gonna be talking about fats, good fats versus bad fats. And joining us, I'm pleased to announce, is um, registered dietitian, Carrie Bach with Core Plus Nutrition. And Carrie's phenomenal to work with. She's one of Fit Foods For You's top go-to dietitians whenever we need answers. Um, Carrie, I could talk all day long about how great you are, but why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself Thank and you. Core Plus. Yes, so Core Plus um, is a consulting company and we work with individuals and then we also work with companies. All of our dietitians are registered dietitians and they have significant clinical experience as well. So they can not only work with those folks dealing with blood sugar management issues or cardiovascular issues, but then we can also work with people who just want to know how to eat better as well. So 
all, we run the whole gamut. Can you explain kind of briefly the different types of fats and really what it, what it means? Sure, sure. So there is, there's a lot of information out there, kind of information overload, but it still comes down to there are saturated fats and there are unsaturated fats. And then within those two um, areas, there are a few different things to keep in mind. So with saturated fats, we were looking at um, foods like meats and dairies that are natural sources of saturated fats. And then the things that we really need to watch out for that aren't great for us come in the forms of baked goods or hydrogenated oils that have been saturated um, by us chemically uh -huh. and our bodies just don't know how to deal with it. Now on the unsaturated fat side of things, um, we are dealing with uh, polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fats that come in the form of vegetables so and some fruits, coconuts, avocados, walnuts, nuts and seeds, those types of things. And I've been reading a lot lately that um, we're not to be so much concerned about unsaturated fats anymore. Um, what is your take on that? Right, so we aren't supposed to be concerned with unsaturated fats. We still want to keep everything in balance though. So it's not a free for all to just go and eat fat as much as you can. This, the current recommendation still is, depending on the individual, anywhere between like 25 to 35 percent of your calories coming from fat. What we need to keep in mind too is that we want to have a nice balance between the types of fats that do not cause inflammation, and those are the unsaturated fats, like okay. the poly and the monounsaturates, versus the types of fats that we do know cause inflammation, contrary to a lot of information that's out there right now. We do still know that we get a little of an inflamed response in the body when we have too much of the saturated fats. So those types from animal products, and then also the hydrogenated and trans fats that I spoke of. Today's keyword is monounsaturated. <laughs> I think I keep hearing well, monounsaturated. The omega-3s are polyunsaturated. Okay. So we really want, you know, a the keyword is that is balance. balance. Because we balance. know it's saturated too. We still, you know, if we get a cut, we want to be able to have that stop on its own. So we right. don't want to be so crazy with the unsaturates that we keep everything. Balance. Yes. It okay. all comes back to balance. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you so much for coming on today. This Thank is you. incredible and I really appreciate your time. Absolutely. Absolutely. If you would like further information, please visit Good Living by Design or our website, fitfoodsforyou.com. Thank you and have a wonderful day. That's it for our show today. Thank you, Elena Anderson, Three Week Kitchens, Joe from East Coast Joe's Food Truck, Marisa Garbin, Yvette Gonzalez, As You Wish, Pet Sitters, Michelle Calaisi from Allstate Insurance, and our fitness advisors, Heather Susias and Carrie Back. I'm Lenore Gonzalez. Thank you for watching Good Living by Design. If you'd like some professional designer, let me try that over. Thank you and have a wonderful day. I sound like a phone call. Why can't I get this down? <laughs> Thank you. For us design professionals, we get excited when the new season comes in because that means new trends for us. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Because it's your turn. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> All right.